It's Warcraft Day. Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. This is going to be from the replay request series and this is going to be a game requested by none other than Mofad. Morning at the bottom left as the red undead player or no it's the blue undead player sorry about that <laughs> color filters on so Mofad will be spawning over here at the bottom left as the blue undead player opening up with the crypt build order he will be facing up against cuddle who is also a undead player spawning as red on the top right map for this battle will be last a few and i believe this is from the warcraft 3 champion uh, ladder probably Assuming that looking at this uh, Map is gonna be last refuge. You got tavern in the middle Goblin merchant camps adjacent to them goblin labs at your well in front of your base Mercenary camps nearby and ex an expansion can be can be easily defended and crept out as well for the red camps so this is a part of the replay request series as always I'd like to mention that anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays. Know more about how you can send me replays for the replay request series you can join my discord server link to that is in the description below. Uh, link to that is in the description below for the youtube video and on the twitch panel if you're watching this live. So that crazy Steve the acolyte of Mofat heading in towards the base of Cuddle. What is he going to do? Is he going to go in and try to claw against something with his little hands which he has tied up between his sleeves right now? No, he isn't. It appears just going to back out. Just he, he all, all he wanted to know what was build order that his opponent went in for. And once he, once he knew that, he'll be just backing out. And sadly for him, his hero seems to be delayed a bit going for a tavern oh mofad is going for a tavern hero mixing it up mixing it up as suggested on the replay and the tavern hero is going to be a dark ranger see how this works out Rocky mentioned it's big brain undead time <laughs> big brain undead <laughs> I like how you describe mofad's uh, hero there, so you can try and pull in those creeps there Go in after them with the ghouls Probably has black arrow Didn't use it though turtle of nobility the best item you could get from an item drop There we go now gonna use it Gonna use it on all the creeps though Death Knight is out Creeping has begun for the other side as well And Mofad will go in for some more creeping. Uh, no death coils are used by Cuddle to creep any of these camps out. I recently, recently saw a game by Grubby. I believe he was casting a game for uh, of Happy where he suggested this one that undead players for a long time did not use their death coils on creeps but have begun to do that now. Looking at uh, the efficiency of uh, being able to creep faster, they just used about three death coils and tried to power up to level three. Okay, Mofan has a lot of skeleton warriors. Some of them are near to timeout, but we still got some time left. Still got a lot of them left uh, in the time. Uh, still got a lot of them available with a lot of time left he's gonna head in oh, oh he's gonna go after the acolytes we got tech coming in so he won't be able to respawn any of them he won't be able to heal him or rather uh make any of them from the main building there this doesn't look good one acolyte down second one far away from the death knight death knight death coil come on Wolf getting taken out at the same time. Mofad is still trying to take out Acolytes. Oh no, second Acolyte down. He had to cancel his tech just to get Acolytes. I don't know if this was the right decision, but Mofad is currently has hampered. He, he, Mofad has currently definitely hampered Cuddle. The last two Acolytes, or rather, there's one more left actually. Oh no, this is 
huge. Mofad managed to cripple the entire economy of Cuddle. And you may say whatever you want to, but Cuddle isn't teching. His tech is gonna be delayed. He isn't mining off of his gold mine with 100%, and Mofad is already at tier 2. He is way ahead of Cuddle right now. He managed to do this with Skeleton Warriors and the Dark Ranger. And this is going to be huge. This is going to be affecting the entirety of this game. Damn, Stam, ready. We got, we're getting some acolytes there. But his tech is delayed. This is going to be really bad for Cuddle. And I'm not really sure how is he going to transition back. As he goes in for some creeping at the goblin merchant. Moffat isn't too far away though. Needs one more green camp to try and get this dark ranger to level 3. Going to go for an orange camp though. I guess he could just kill one of the assassins or the warden. And get your level 3. But no, it appears that he wants the overseer and he wants this camp. Cuddle isn't too far away. You wouldn't see them until he gets there though. And he's about to see them. He sees them. Offed about to be jacked. To get that crypt out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna say the ghoul of the way ghoul get, gets taken out. But he did get uh, level 3 on the Dark Ranger to his advantage. Death Knight. Now we'll pick up the pieces. Go after the assassins and uh oh we got death call death knight by mofad as well this time mofad coming in with a death knight second hero and that's going in at least won't be able to death coil anything but will help mofad heal away his units now now you don't even think about this was this really the ideal choice you have a lot of choices like death knight is definitely something that undead army needs but the first spell that Mofad went in for, it appears so far, seems to be uh, Death Coil. Uh, if he has some mana already down. And no aura there. Death Knight for Cuddle is super weak right now, but should manage to survive without much of an effort. Cuddle exacting revenge for that earlier devastating loss. Of his economy at the hands of Mofad, and he's trying to delay this as much as possible so that he can try and uh, delay Mofad's creeping and keep Mofad at bay until he gets to tier 2. But Mofad is also going to tier 3, so that's something you want to consider. There's really no way that Cuddle can actually catch up with Mofad at this point. I'm not sure if this is the best approach. You can kill a lot of units of Mofad and keep, keep him from creeping, and that's really all you can do. Level 4 on your Death Knight, so that's some progress there at least. I'm gonna say this is really the best, the worst way. And Jockey, you ought, you ought to wanna get on work now. You got some work. Cuddle gonna get back to his base. Getting more and more fiends at the back line and getting Boro upgrade now. Yep, mod time. Mofat creeps on his side of the base. And I think it would be a good uh, idea for Mofat to just let his Death Knight creep now. Getting it to level up is going to be much more needed than he, uh, also leveling, leveling it up with the Dark Ranger at this point. Cuddle coming back though. Mofat and Cuddle about to engage in the middle once again. Back and forth. No engagements. Getting into a choke point. Don't really want to fight there either. I'm not really sure why Mofat has the acolyte there. That's that's crazy Steve, by the way. The same acolyte that he spawned earlier for the scout. Crazy Steve. Oh, oh, crazy Steve is actually gonna attack Cuddle and pay the price. Ah, sorry for being slow. Wasn't in mod dude. Hey, it's okay as long as you can get the job done. But now coming in with his level 2 skeleton warriors, level 3 dark ranger that is. is complete. For some reason they're called dark minions though, they are definitely skeleton warriors. Well I wouldn't really be surprised if at some point Blizzard decided to change its model in Reforged. You have an illusion. Fiends and Mofad wants to fight with the illusionary fiends. That may be a counter to the number of fiends that Cuddle has. This fiend is trapped and it is good for the taking. Mofad should 
Take care of it. We got Death Coil coming in. Death Coil saves it. Oh no, Move is gonna be tapped by those creeps. Doesn't look good. He should manage to escape though. Needs a Death Coil on that fiend immediately. There we go. He already got Orb of Corruption on that uh, Death Knight, but... Hmm, something debatable now. You want Black Arrow. You also want a ranged um, Orb of Corruption. And well, you don't really have to think further. Don't have to think further because you got yourself a ranged hero in the form of a Lich now. Lich would take care of it. Ah, I put a booster sadly. Oh. Booster just helps a lot. Illusions disappearing away while well, Mofat goes to work at his expansion, which is really an easy creep, creep camp at this point of the game. Uh, all three heroes are really going to be gaining very less experience. Cuddle on the other side is going in for the right camp that he needs to go for, the big bad overlord camp. Mofat detects that, try to come in, and oh, Mofat getting, a, Mofat getting a clear view of that big bad ogre. He needs to kill it right now. Come on, it's already down to 50%. I believe Mofat is over committing to attacking Cuddle's army. I think that red camp is just more, much, much more um, beneficial in my opinion. To get the, the red camp, then there's really a lot of things you can get from uh, the item. And now the ogre, big bad ogre, is being healed by that uh, forest troll high priest. Prasno on the fiends there. Combination with the orb of corruption, minus damage, minus armor. Sorry. But heading in, and he wants to kill some units. It appears Cuddle doing a good job of keeping them alive using the death coils. Cuddling back to his base. Yes, I could. I could definitely use that pun, huddling back to his base. So looking bad. The destroyers are in the air though. You can devour magic and kill a lot of skeleton warriors. Maybe a good time for Mofad to switch strategies and go in for silence. Or life drain. Life drain is really not a bad skill. Silence, there we go. gets taken out but Mofat will TP away and oh death, death, death coil death coil death coil death coil death coil <laughs> what was that really but that doesn't really make sense so technically what happened was Mofat's death coil was launched when he was there and when he TP'd away the death coil marched over here and the death coil by the way also followed uh, the lich's Orb of Orb of Corruption attack. They uh, auto attack with the Orb of Corruption. That is, uh, yeah, fun moments, fun glitches in Warcraft that you experience in not all games, but you experience this in a very few ones though. And the item which I was talking about is Hood of Cunning. Mofat could have had this item if he killed the big bad ogre when Cuddle was uh, high tailing away. He had the opportunity to do so, but he didn't. And we have a new follower, it appears. Mofat donated $25. Whoa! Money! Thanks for the donation. That was probably the first donation I ever had, though. <laughs> probably the first one I ever had. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, Mofat, you could have actually had that uh, Hood of Cunning if you killed the big bad ogre there. Now, Mofat going in for the Goblin Merchant Camp. Both players are gonna creep a bit and okay we had somewhat of a pause moment here a big big lag spike yeah sadly despite of um spite of what um warcraft 3 champions yes despite of warcraft 3 champions we do have lag spikes it, it happens you it's really not something that is completely avoidable it is just something that it can it is just something that can be there and can happen Mofat going in for the red camp on the other side of the map. What's he gonna get? He got himself a hood of cunning as well. Okay, so you had one at least instead of having two, but you could have have two, and having two is definitely better than one. And by the way, just a little detail for the guys that don't remember or forgot to cover: hood of cunning now gives five plus instead of four plus, so it's 
more buffed, of course, plus five uh, on strength, uh, no, sorry, plus five on agility and plus five on intelligence. Got that there. Yes, the creep fest has begun and creepomania is running wild. You know, I'm, I think I have a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna run a timer with, I'm, I'm gonna have to find a widget or something for that. I'm gonna run a timer for until each player, uh, or rather, I run a timer for until the players have an engagement. It could be any engagement, even with some skeleton warriors and stuff. And we're gonna see for how long uh, players try to keep away from each other and keep on creeping. And we're gonna have some levels of that. First one could be creep fest, and perhaps second one could be creepo mania or something like that. I think I think that'll be a fun one. <laughs> so we got circlet, uh, more good items for the death knight there, and. I think it's time to engage. Having some like spikes my own, uh, myself here on this game right now. Not sure if that's uh, the effect of the game, but uh oh, cuddle being stacked there. Looks in a, in a very bad situation. Loses two fiends instead of one. While he tries to attempt to kill Mofat's fiends as well. But should burn on the fiend if he doesn't have. Okay, cuddle actually killing it and turning it into a skeleton warrior with a dark ranger of his own. Yeah, cuddle did pick a dark ranger. So both of them have technically the same heroes, just in the different order. Mofat pushing in, it appears that he wants to seal the deal. Cuddle does have some really uh, higher level heroes though. Level 5 Death Knight to be very exact there. Dark Ranger about to get killed. Death Knight is silenced. Dark Ranger runs away. Mofat's Death Knight is super weak. And I'm not sure what he used there. Oh no, the Dark Ranger made a big mistake of coming back into the fight and exposing himself. Gets taken out. Death Knight goes down for Cuddle, and this game is over. Lovely game there by Mofet and Cuddle. Awesome game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I will definitely be seeing you next episode of Warcraft. Peace.